Hello guys and welcome to our brand new video. In the previous one we've installed a CarPlay and Android Auto Kit into our Peugeot 308. If you haven't seen that one, we have put the link in the description. This time we will be installing our brand new backup camera. Enjoy! So when we previously installed our CarPlay kit, we had noticed that there was a connection for a backup camera. But when you put the car in reverse, it's all black because yeah, we didn't bought any camera yet. So obviously we went to AliExpress to find a cheap but good camera. We found one, bought it, waited for its delivery and here it is. We had already tried the camera shown right now, but it was very bad quality. So we ordered a new one and put the link to the better version in our description. First of all, we'll have to remove all the parts on the inside of the trunk. To remove the placeholders, you'll need a screwdriver, only then you will have access to the screws. If you have loosened the two screws on both sides, then you will be able to remove the plastic part by pulling it. Also remove the part above the window. The camera will be placed on the right side above the license plate. We'll need to take out the placeholder because we are going to cut a hole inside of it. Afterwards the camera will be clicked inside the placeholder. We'll do this because the camera is too small to hold itself in place. So first measure the diameter of the camera, then draw the circle on the placeholder, then start drilling into the placeholder. If you have a bigger drill, please use that, but we didn't have that so we use a small drill and a Dremel. If you drill the hole precisely, you will be able to click the camera perfectly into the placeholder. We recommend to push the metal clips of the camera a bit outwards to make sure the metal clips will click inside the placeholder. You can do this with a screwdriver. Once the placeholder with the camera inside of it is ready, you can put them back into place above the license plate. So once inside the trunk you will see that we've already placed two cables for the camera. The white cable is a cable to provide electricity. It contains a positive and a negative wire. Most people have this at home. If not, we'll put the link in the description to buy one. The black cable is a video cable. We also put the link for this one in the description. So as you can see, we've soldered the male side to an extension cable, but we'll provide a link to the cable where that is not needed, so you don't have to solder yourself. The only thing you will have to do is cut the female side so you can connect the positive and the negative wire to the relay we'll show later in the video. Now you only have to pull the two cables through all the holes by yourself. It can be handy to have a metal wire to help you pull them through. Pulling the cables through like this can be a bit unhandy, but you'll have to follow the way shown on the video. To access the cables in the back of the trunk, we'll have to remove more parts of the trunk. As you can see, you have to remove three pins that you can pull out with your fingers and then just pull out the plastic. On the side of the trunk, it's also just pulling all the parts out as shown on the video. As you can see, the two wires come down out of the hole inside the side of the trunk. Remove this part to get access to all the wires. Turn your electricity meter on and place him on 60 volt. You'll have to put a negative pin on the green yellow cable. This is the grounding of the car. With a positive pin you will have to try all the holes of the connector of the car to find the one where there is 12 volt available. You only will see 12 volt on your meter if you put the car in reverse. When you found the one that gave 12 volt, you'll know which one gives the backup signal. The voltage you'll get is less than 12 volt, so it will be necessary to place a relay so the camera will get enough power to send the signal to the CarPlay unit. If you found out your car has more than 12 volt, you can try to connect your camera directly. You also need to find the orange cable and put a clip on it. Go from the clip with a new cable to the relay. Now we will connect the relay. Connect all the cables as shown to the relay. We will include a shim so you better pause the video to take a screenshot of it. Here we will connect the yellow cable to the new reverse light cable we just placed with a clip. Go from your car's negative terminal to the other yellow cable from the relay. 
You can just remove the screw from the negative terminal and clamp the cable down. Take the negative wire of the white cable that comes from the camera and attach it also to the yellow wire of the relay that goes to the negative terminal of your car. Connect the red cable of the camera to the red cable of the relay. The last cable we need to connect is a 12 volt cable from our car's battery. In this case we will use our 12 volt signal from our tow hook. But if you don't have that you can just go around with your electricity meter to find out where you have steady 12 volt supply. To put this back in place firstly pull out the white part and put it back into the black rubber part. Then put them both back into your trunk. The last thing you'll have to do is pull the black cable of the camera all the way to the front, to the CarPlay unit. To put the black cable behind the plastic, just pull the plastic part. Then pull it all the way down to the bottom of the car. Because this part can't come loose, you'll just have to push the black cable between the soft tissue and the plastic. Next to the driver's seat, you can remove the plastic and put the black cable under it. Unscrew the screw and then pull the cable under the steering wheel to the CarPlay unit. To know how to remove the parts under the steering wheel and the middle part of the radio, watch our previous video on how to install a CarPlay unit. If you don't have a CarPlay unit but you want to install the backup camera, we have put a link to a special unit for this in our description. Because it is not possible to connect the camera to our original Peugeot radio. So that was it, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe and see you in the next video.